citizens of the internet or otherwise, Emma Fife here. By now, maybe you've seen the movie Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. And if you haven't, you should, because it's really good. It's a great movie about ladies coming together, standing up to their oppressors. But more than that, it's also about one woman, namely Harley Quinn's love affair with a breakfast sandwich. Now, this is a very specific sort of breakfast sandwich and one that it is nigh impossible to purchase at a place where other people prepare food for you in the city of Los Angeles, mostly because LA seems to have something against bread, unless it's fancy bread like croissants. For whatever reason, LA is not on board with the good old fashioned breakfast sandwich on a roll. So in order to get one in LA, you gotta make it yourself. And that is what I am here to do today. But I am not going to be going at this journey alone. I have enlisted the help of an expert, my friend, Chef Brenna, to break down how to make the perfect bodega breakfast sandwich in the comfort of your own kitchen. Hello. So Brenna, in addition to actually being a chef, you have another level of qualifications, I think, when it comes to making this particular sandwich today because you actually lived in New York. Correct. So I'm no stranger to being out late at night with someone and then being like, I want a bacon, egg, and cheese. And yeah, and then we would go get them and then eventually they would fall asleep next to it. So yeah. it's like another tragic tale, but it happened all the time. That's true. I mean, how how many thousands of people have fallen asleep next to their <laughs> uneaten bodega breakfast right. sandwich? <laughs> Brenna, why don't you walk me through what the key ingredients are to really creating the perfect bodega breakfast sandwich experience? Okay, so I think that number one is starting with the roll. Mm -hmm. um, the bread is truly the important part here. Sometimes they're a little more round, sometimes maybe a little smaller, but this is, I think, the nearest to a bodega, a New York bodega breakfast sandwich that we're gonna get bread-wise. This is from the Vallarta market. Mm -hmm. And then doing it on a buttered roll, which we have our butter here, we're gonna take care of that. So number one, the bread. Number two, probably the cheese. Mm. This is the, the slice of American cheese. Yes, she does specify in the movie that it is two slices of American cheese. Slightly out of date. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna gamble with out of date cheese, but feel free to at home if if, if you are braver than us. Yeah, I mean this stuff pretty much lasts forever anyway. That's true. Yeah, how long had he had that cheese if it was a couple months out of date? Mm, probably like six years. Okay, next, uh, bacon, crispy bacon. We've already. Pre, so I mean, at any bodega, they're gonna pre-cook the bacon so they can just like throw it on the griddle and then slap it on the sandwich. That's that's just prep. You know? <laughs> that's just how we do it. And then, um, obviously eggs. I would say a white egg here. Something that doesn't cost more than like $2 a dozen. Yeah, I, I will full disclosure tell you that I purchased every ingredient that I needed for this particular experience. And uh, it was $8 for about, eight times as much as I would need to make a single breakfast sandwich. Right, so they're bankrolling on these breakfast sandwiches. That's true. So shall we get to cooking this thing? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Doing a little prep work here, Brenna. So first thing we're gonna do is cut this roll. Yes, but it's important that you don't cut it all the way through and you like leave uh, it like, like a mouth. Would you do a this way cut or like a this way cut? A this way cut. Probably so it's like, like a mouth. I actually like it where you can see where the bread is like attached. Mm. Like I think that's like a safe place to start. So bread. like here, long, yeah, because, so long ways. Yes. It's gonna encase oh, the bacon. Oh, so the, the, all the juices don't drip out the bottom. Yeah, something like Genius. that. Genius. Bread cut, ready to go. Oh wait, so wait, not ready because we got a butter. Oh, oh, there we go. So this is another thing. We have pre-melted butter, and then you just like, sorry. You're just splashing me with the butter. Listen, so it's, a, it's aggressive buttering. I like it. Yeah. It's not pretty. It's just quick. Yeah. So then right. you could just slap that butter side down okay. to get it toasty. There we go. I would say move it to the back. Oh yeah, because we gotta have room for all of our ingredients. We don't, we don't have time to get different griddles out for everything. Right. So okay, next. So next, did it say one or two fries? Two eggs. Okay, so we're just gonna break them into here first. For, oh, also this is a trick. You always slap an egg on a flat surface. Oh, not on an edge of a bowl. Not on the edge of a bowl. And I'll do that one more time. Oh, see, so, the reason why we're doing it is so we don't get shells in our eggs. Whoops. Well, listen. <laughs> Harley Quinn would be pissed. Egg, an eggshell, I feel like, just adds to the the protein count. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just throw it straight on there. Okay. 
brittle could definitely be a little bit hotter mm. in the front. We can try it and it all contained. This is all going swimmingly. <laughs> I mean, and you can add some salt. I have a salt jar here. I always have a kosher salt jar. And you don't want to turn it over and make it over easy. Oh. You can grab like a palette so oh. that it starts to cook on top a little bit. Genius! Yeah. And at this point, I think we can like throw our bacon on there. Oh yes, because again, we, we pre-cooked the bacon. We're just re-crisping it on the griddle here. And I would say two slices of American cheese. One's gonna go on the bottom and one's gonna go on the top, probably. Mm, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that guy's. I think it looks good. Looking pretty good. I think we can start assembling. Oh, wow. Actually, you want that toastier. Mm-hmm. All right, so at this point, that's all hanging out. Let's get our cheeses Jeez. ready. Oh, my Got God. some. <laughs> Got them right there. All right, here we go. So we're gonna turn it upside down. Okay. So that's a perfect toast on this oh, side. Oh, that is perfect. Ah, oh, and then you toast the cheese right onto the bread. Yeah, we'll just leave it like this. I'll let you slap the other cheese. Okay, out. great. You, I'm gonna do the honors of slapping on the other cheese you here. You deserve it. Boom. Yeah. Okay, next. Oh, where's my safety towel? Right oh, yeah. here. Get rid of that. I'm gonna put our fried eggs here. One of the yolks. Ooh. Still intact. Yeah. <laughs> One yolk intact is enough, honestly. And then, let's see. I'm just gonna use my hands for this. Living dangerously. Yeah. Don't recommend using your own hands actually at home. Uh, I also, I also Brenna has an extra layer of skin from touching hot things her whole life. <laughs> All right, so we can just slap this Slap together. that on there. Ooh. Dang. And then we're gonna move this over to our decoupage plate. Yes. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Wow. I mean, it is, it is a thing of beauty. It really is. I think to keep the integrity of the sandwich, you wanna wrap it in deli paper first. Oh. And then like, if you're, say you're traveling to work. Yeah. You just wanna grab the foil, fold it up. Mm. And here you go, Matt. Oh, thank you so much. That's a now, dollar fifty. Oh, perfect. Uh, let me uh, listen. I don't have my wallet. Do you accept <laughs> Apple Pay? Yeah, totally. <laughs> totally. Yes. Now I feel like sometimes too I'll see like a bodega breakfast sandwich that is like cut in half, but like the packaging is cut in half, so you have it in like the two different slices. You know what I mean? Yes. You know I, what I mean? I do know what you mean. Like a bagel that's cut. Yeah. In half. Yeah. It's in half. It's in half. I feel like I just received this at a bodega sort of situation. So, I, you know, I feel like maybe it's time to just give it a roll. Now she did specify also in the movie that there is a little finishing touch, which we have forgotten. Right. Which is a couple splashes of hot, hot sauce. sauce. All right, so here, we'll do a little unwrap. So I think if the cutting would happen, it might happen like after the paper and they might cut through oh, the paper actually. Oh, that sounds right. All right, so let's garnish this bad boy. It really depends on the chef at the bodega. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What hit, what they each each uh, bodega chef has an individual process. I'm sure. So well, I put too much hot sauce on. She said two splashes, but I I like spicy food, so yeah. I went a little crazy with the hot sauce. <laughs> All right. Excellent. So I guess I'm ready to just dig into this bad boy and see how it tastes. Yeah, do it. Yes. Yeah. I feel like the other side where the yolk wasn't broken is definitely going to be rubbing her. Mm -hmm. But it still looks great to me. It looks pretty darn good. Again, I was saying the egg looks a little cheese. rubbery, but mm -hmm. but that's just true too with the egg. They're, like if they cook it, it gets a little rubbery. That's, that's, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Listen, they're not concerned about a, a perfectly cooked egg at a bodega. They don't have time for that. They got eight more people waiting right. who expect to have a breakfast sandwich in their hands in a minute or less. Right. So. Yeah, that's that one. Yeah. That's good. Don't worry about me, guys. I had one of these earlier. <laughs> All right. It's great. I'm happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for um, this friendly yeah, making this uh, making this dream come true for me, Brenna. Uh, the the uh, good call on the Viarta rolls. Yeah. I gotta say, yeah. that's uh, that is definitely the closest that I've had to a bodega breakfast sandwich like you would find in New York. Oh, I was just gonna say about the roll. It's like at first glance, it like doesn't seem like much, but once you toast it, it really changes the yeah, texture. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, the 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 golden 
toast on the bread is I think what really sealed the deal here. So, you know, I'm, I'm ready to have my uh, birds of prey breakfast brunch party where <laughs> we just feature bacon, egg and cheese sandwiches. Thank you, Brenna, once again, for uh, making my, my breakfast sandwich dreams come true. Uh, to all of you out there in the internet, let us, let us know if, if you also attempt to recreate the perfect bodega breakfast sandwich in the comfort of your own home. We want to know about it. Send us your pics. Yeah. Uh, and video your process. Do an Instagram story. We don't care. We're just we, we all want to be able to share in the love of the basic AF breakfast sandwich. Right. Wait!